ago today, there was something of a miracle out on Lake Ontario. Global's John Darby reports tonight about a little boy whose life was never quite the same. David Blackmore runs a music school in Richmond Hill. He devotes himself to kids and says it's because of a life-changing event in 1968. April 16th is like my second birthday. Um, it was almost like I had a second chance. And we took a look over here at this boathouse here, and we discovered there was a, a raft there that was tied up to the dock and uh, decided that uh, we would take it for a little ride. Ten-year-old David's little ride on Lake Ontario was nearly a one-way ticket to the hereafter. When his friend decided not to go, David set off from Toronto's Cherry Beach for a paddle. The wind came up, and David found himself further and further from shore. He was cold and frightened, and it was getting dark. I had a cardigan that was you know, almost identical to this, and um, I put it over my head, and I just huddled up in kind of a fetal position and just uh, waited at that point. On the chilly spring night, David was falling victim to hypothermia. All the while, a major search was going on. He was about five miles out in the icy lake, hallucinating and close to death, when a ship commanded by Archie Hodge appeared out of the mist. And so uh, I waved my arm just feebly, that's the best I could get, and, uh, and they pulled up right beside me and threw down a ladder and... This person came down and just grabbed me from the boat and hauled me up onto the boat. The rescue was front page news. It was almost like a mystical experience. It was something that told me that life is short and that, uh, that you have to do something with your life. As well as teaching school, David founded Toronto's Cabbage Town Community Arts Centre for disadvantaged children and has won a number of awards for his work. Occasionally, he returns to Cherry Beach and wanders along, thinking of that long-ago night. I, I think that idea of, of you know, being out on the lake um, kind of motivated me and, and made me a happier person because I, I definitely appreciate life a lot more because of it. John Darby, Global News, Toronto. And that is First National for this Thursday. I'm Peter Kent. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.